Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to enable TLS version 1.3 in Apache 2. Uh, this is good for security purposes because older versions of SSL and TLS are insecure, so um, by default having your Apache um, secure connections using TLS version 1.3 is a great security practice. So, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is enter root mode. Um, you're going to be running a lot of commands. Um, in root, so I suggest just running as a super user all the commands that I'm about to show you. So we're just going to go ahead and install Apache 2. And along with that, we're going to install SSL as well. Um, if this option doesn't show for you when installing Apache 2, just install Open SSL uh, separately. Okay. And now let's check our version. Great, so to be able to uh, enable TLS version 1.3, you want to have Apache 2.4.37 and anything higher will work as well. And, um, and you'll need at least uh, open SSL version 1.1.1, which is what we have, so we're good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the HTML file. So right now I'm going to have a simple website that I'm going to be serving up. All it shows is, you know, welcome to example.com. Um, and that's going to be running on my local host address 127.0.0.1. .0 .0 um, so let's see if that's working. First, let's start Apache. Great. It's starting. If we go to our web browser and we go to our web page we see that we have our example website running. Now if you notice it says that this connection isn't secure. If we see more information it has no details, the connection is not encrypted and so this isn't good. We don't want to be serving up websites that are unencrypted. So we'll change this. So the first thing that we're going to go to, go to is our uh, mods available in Apache. Um, Now, here we have a lot of files, but we see that we have our ssl.conf file, which is the SSL configuration file. So if you open that file, there's a lot of stuff. You don't have to worry about much of this, but you see this key line right here is SSL protocol all that minus SSL v3. Now what this is saying that enable all of the protocol values above except for SSL version three. Now something more secure than this would be disabling all of them with the minus and only enabling TLS version 1.3. So, uh, oops, type that wrong. And now you see it's not in the list of supported values, but it is in fact supported, like, like I said earlier, by this version of Apache and SSL, open SSL. Now you're going to copy this line over because you're going to have to add it to one more place. Um, now if you go to your sites available directory. Um, uh, maybe one higher. Um, you see you have this default conf file. That's that's the configuration file for the default web page that's going to be hosted by Apache, which is the example web page right here. Um, now most now usually the default web page for Apache is different, um, but I just simplified it for demonstration purposes. It doesn't matter. You can serve up your own web pages and even host your own websites uh, using virtual hosts. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So um, if we open our file, we see that the document root is var www.html, which is where the index.html file that's served up is located. So what we're going to do is we're going to First, uh, let's go ahead and change it to port 443 up here. We don't want it to run on port 80. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but here, we're going to add this SSL protocol line. Great. Um, now we have to do a couple other things. We have to actually specify um, a key and a certificate if we're hosting our own website. So we can do this using the open SSL command. Um, and I'm just going to type a long string. I'll explain what it does. So here, now we're generating a new key. We're saying it's an RSA key with 4096 bits. Um, and we're going to output that key to a file called key.pem. 
and we're also going to create a certificate um, called cert.pem that goes along with that key and we're going to make it a valid certificate for one year and we're going to make that here and now we're going to have to put a password in for the key you can put whatever you want and here it's going to ask you a bunch of information about the certificate it doesn't really matter uh, I'm just going to leave it blank, but ideally, if this was a valid website that you're planning on hosting for a long time, you want to fill in all of the information correctly. Great. So now, if you see here, we have our cert.pem and our key.pem that we just generated. And in our default configuration, we're going to want to specify the path to that uh, key and that certificate. So what else? Another thing you're going to have to add here is... Um, the following two lines so you have to specify the certificate file and that's going to be um, also put in the absolute path not the local path otherwise that'll cause some issues um, um, cert.pem and can copy that line and this is going to be the certificate key file and it's going to be key.pem Great. Now, one last thing, since we made a uh, change to the SSL configuration by specifying the protocol, we're going to have to enable that module so you can use the command a2 and mod, which is Apache to enable module, and you're going to um, enable SSL. Great. Now that that's running, um, we can restart Apache and see what happens to our website that we're serving up. Great, so this is going to ask you for the same password for the key that we made earlier. Great, so now if you see that it's running, and now remember that we're running on port 443 now instead of port 80. So now we can actually uh, go to our web page, um, and uh, you'll see that. Um, it's saying that there is a security issue, but this isn't an insecure connection as far as the encryption goes. The reason it's saying this is because the certificate that we generated earlier is self-signed and usually um, web browsers don't like dealing with self-signed certificates, but in this case it's fine. We can add a security exception for this to show that. And now if you see when the web page is reloaded, we have this little icon here. And it says it's not secure. Again, that's because of the certificate error, not because of the encryption error so if we had a valid certificate that we got from a trusted authority this error wouldn't be here either so now um, if we look at more information you see that the connection encrypted right here is encrypted with AES 128-bit SHA-256 with TLS 1.3 just like we configured so thank you very much and I hope that's useful for you guys